G'day! In today's video, I've got a Lenovo ThinkBook 14 G4. Also with the model number IAP written in there, or the factory ID of PRC4. And I want to open this one up to have a look at the, at the touch panel connector. It's been reinstalled and I can't find the driver for it. And I want to see if for some weird reason it's not physically connected. I do believe it's just a weirder driver issue going on with it. But while we're there, we're going to also see what can be upgraded in this model. This one's just one st some stock for the shop. It was running Windows 10, so I changed it to Windows 11. And the driver has been quite bothersome to find. I believe it uses some form of Intel serial driver, and then it also has a, like a semantic uh, driver for it. Being that there's no drivers actually available for the touchpad, it seems really weird that it's not going. But let's see what can be upgraded on these ThinkBooks. These are fairly different screws. I can't say I've come across these variety before. They have a little thread further down. As you can see, they're kind of recessed in. Now, hopefully, I should be able to get this to pop. Usually these require a silly amount of force to be able to get into them. Which I always wish there was one screw that pushes them out. Dell sometimes does that. Uh, there we go, we've got a gap. Starting it. There we go. There we go. We're in from here, and what can we see? We see one battery, one Wi-Fi card, one NVMe drive. But nothing really in the way of a trackpad for me. I'm going to assume it's hidden under here. So to begin with, I'll just take out the battery. Which I'm assuming there is a larger capacity battery that can go into this model. This one does seem to be relatively small. Uh, where's the watt hours? 3,820 milliamp hours. So a bit on the low side, I would suspect. Yeah, with that, I should be able to put my nail on here and just pull it towards me. Like. No. It's being rather stubborn. I got it. Looking here, what can I see? One FPC connector going to the trackpad here, going over here. It is rather odd that there is tape going over it. Which makes me believe it's been looked at once before. As I'm not seeing that anywhere else on here. Okay, get it up. Put this back over here. Like so. Go over to the connection over here, double check that. And I'm just seeing one other thing out of the corner of my eye that I do like about this. Looking here, I'm assuming we have RAM under here. Let's see if we can find out. This lifts up. Bingo, we have the RAM, which I'll just go over the RAM and NVMe upgrading. What we should be able to do is pull these tabs out. You should flick up and pull out like so. Flick it over. What do we have? We have eight gig of DDR4. Uh, yeah, DDR4, 3200 megahertz. To put that in, we have got to line this notch up with here. So I'm gonna put it face down again. Should line up like so. Push in, push down, and that's in. From there, you shouldn't really have to do anything else. The cover here, we do have some tape. I should be able to put it around, line up one, two, three. With most of that lined up. And the four up, four, one, two, three up here. There we go. Push down, push across. And that's now installed. We'll go over to here, we have the NVMe drive. We have two slots. We have 
one facing this way, one facing this way. So in theory, if we undo this single screw here, this should lift up and back. And we have, I think this is a WD. No, I'm not seeing the brand on there, but we have PM981 or 9B1, 512 gig. So fairly small. This notch here lines up with this notch here. Pushes in at about a 20 degree angle, 15 to 20 degree angle. And that's it. But one bonus feature on here is we also have a spare NVMe slot going the other way. So you can potentially have two NVMe drives in this machine. Very nice considering it's only a smaller 14 inch laptop. So very happy with that. Do have a CMOS battery over here. Charging since it's handled by power direct will go into one port or two ports. I don't think we have any C's on the other side. So fairly straightforward. I'm going to put this battery back in. If I just loosely sit it here, line it up, I should be able to push it forward. And that should click into position like so. Now I'll just then line the battery back up, put its screws back in. Then we can proceed putting it back together once more. I don't think this is going to resolve my uh, trackpad issue, which I believe it's a few little things going on there. Which I'm seeing more trackpad issues on newer devices. Trackpads are trying to be very technical nowadays. And they try to integrate other brand or driver's requirements into them. But anyway, I hope this may have helped upgrade your RAM, NVMe, or potentially add an NVMe. I should be able to put the back cover back on, or bottom cover. Push around, should click into position. And these six screws just stay there just fine. I'm gonna put these four in the bottom. And the four in the bottom should be right to go from there. Screws in nice and easily. This one should do the same. From here, I'm gonna see you guys later. I hope you have a good one, and I'll catch you in another video. Bye. Nick.